gonna go ahead and change some of those features in the iDrive. I'm actually already in the program, so we're just gonna get started. Uh, and I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that's gonna be different. So um, we're gonna go now into the head unit. And again, if you don't know how to get here, just watch some of the other videos that I got. It'll show you how to get basically to the app. But we're inside the head unit now. But we're getting in there. Cool, slow up. So in this video, we're just gonna do regular mode again. We're not gonna go inside expert mode, but I am gonna show you some stuff in expert mode that um, is pretty cool that you can't really see inside the regular mode um, later in uh, later videos. But okay, so we're gonna turn on, or you can turn on if you like, the acoustic sound when a pedestrian is walking up on your car. Um, so I like the locks to make a sound when I lock them, so I know that they're there. This one's a cool feature too, so I could change the BMW to let's say the i or the regular bmw or the mini or even the rolls royce chimes so i'm gonna go ahead and change it to that it doesn't really make a difference they all pretty cool but uh this one's fine too you can change the the startup volume in the car the maximum is 50 so if you want to you know um if you don't like your volume dictated by the car you can set it to at least 50 um this one's a cool feature too instead of having the bmw ringtone or the mini let's say you can select your smartphone which i like instead and um so the startup welcome stream i'm gonna put animation on and the animation that i'm gonna put on in this case is the m variant i'm actually put on the m variant too and i'll show you what that is but you can record i mean you can um put the um, alpina on you can change it to any one of these different ones but i'll show you what it looks like when we change it so you'll know you know what you're looking at and and how to keep selecting through them and find the one you prefer um the volume pop up i have it active so basically when i do like this what i'm doing is i'm supposed to turn up the volume uh, anyways so when i change it that little pop up right there but when i turn the volume it's supposed to change too or it's not but when i change it it'll pop up right there basically that little uh, I'm blocking it with my phone that's what it is but that's the volume I should anyways but it will show up right there so you can change that feature too if you want you don't have to have it on um, I like to see it so I know it's actually working um, you can code also the tire pressure with the temperature um, I like to put that on too so I can see the temperature of the car don't make a real difference like that it's not like it's telling you much but um, I also like the rear camera to zoom in. So I'm gonna activate that. And um, what else we have in here? So I don't like the service history showing every time I start up the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable that. And I'm gonna also, actually I turned that on active, but I wanna disable it. Uh, I usually do that in expert mode so it's a little different um, the sports display is active obviously so it shows I'll show you what that is um, but I'm gonna show you what the sports display colors is in this case it's red I mean it's orange but the sports display pretty much it looks like this so when you go to vehicle technology sports display is this right here so right now when it changes it's in red uh, Hit the button down here yeah. right now when it changes it's in red instead of orange it used to be orange when it's when it scrolled up but it's in red now uh, so I'm gonna change that and what else we have here so some of the warnings that come on at startup like the, uh, the, the camera I hate when I turn on and also the night vision camera it tells me a warning also that I don't want to see anymore the video in motion so this is how you use DVD or watch DVDs when you're basically driving um, I'm gonna put on USB support as well and then I could code some more codecs in there basically so I can watch video from my USB stick but um, I got a, a mirror phone so I can basically watch it anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and code all those features and I'll show you what they look like. So it'll change the display a little bit. 
Sorry about the camera, I'm a one man show here. I got two phones trying to record, but you get the gist. So it's still writing, it just finished coding. So it'll start back up, but I wanted to show you that M um, style um, animation when it first starts up. So you can change it around, you can put the Rolls Royce one, but that's the M one right there, that's the variant two, basically. Um, the variant one is a little different, but anyways, that's the way that looks. Uh, like I said, normally you get like some message or something at the beginning, but that's actually, a, a, um, that one is actually a valid one because I do the channel well. So that's how it is with the new, with the new added features. So now when I go into the sports display, it's a different color though. Nice. Thanks for watching, man. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. I'm gonna make some more videos. Oh, actually, before I go, I wanna I wanna show you how to um, activate that video on motion too, because you gotta do another step after you code it. So you take the first, you push continue. Then you take the iDrive knob and you hold it forward while it's doing its thing on the screen, and it's gonna activate. You hold, you keep holding it forward, basically. So they finish activating, then you'll see something on the screen, because the screen will change too, and then it'll tell you that the speed block is on or off, basically. You can select it on or off at that time too, but after it's finished activating, it'll tell you it's done, and you can see on the screen. So right now, it says normal speed function, or dead, I mean, deactivate the speed lock, so that's why I have it on. You can just, you know, exit out of this menu and you're all set.